first, from your perspective, what happened? Why were you fired? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know the answer to that. But what I know is what we've been able to achieve in this election cycle has been historic. You know, we had a candidate who, in June of last year, announced he was going to run for president with no elective office experience, in a field of 16 other people in the race plus him, uh, who's gone on to do something historic, which was get almost 14 million votes, and fundamentally change the way people look at politics. And I'm proud to have been a small part of that. And you know, running as the outsider of this campaign which he has done, running against the corrupt Washington, D.C. establishment and political correctness has been something I've been proud to be a part of. The voters have a binary decision coming up on Election Day. They can either vote for Hillary Clinton and her liberal policies, or they can put someone in place who's actually going to change Washington. And I will do everything I can to make sure that the latter of those two happens, which means Donald Trump is elected president. If I can do that from inside the campaign, it's a privilege. If I can do that from outside the campaign, that's also a privilege. Our, our understanding is that Ivanka Trump's husband, Jared Kushner, has been much more involved uh, and, and was intimately involved in uh, saying it's time for, for you, for Corey to go. Uh, can you tell me about your relationship with him? I've had a great relationship with Jared. He's helped us um, from the onset of uh, having a better online presence, being uh, aggressive in a, in a good way of getting us to have a stronger social media presence, making sure that we're posting our Facebook page. He understands a different component than, than I understand. So he's very, very good in that regard, and he's very good at moving the campaign forward in that regard. I think it's, it's been a great relationship, so I'm not sure where that's coming from. Well, but we he's have someone some reporting who, that he uh, found out that you were trying to uh, plant some not-so-nice stories about him. Is that true? I have no interest in doing that. Again, my goal from this campaign from day one is to get Mr. Trump elected president of the United States. Uh, one of the senior advisors for Mr. Trump uh, put out a tweet almost immediately after you were fired. Uh, Michael Caputo, ding dong, the witch is dead. That doesn't happen, Corey, as you know that you worked in a lot of campaigns. I don't mean that to put that up to be hurtful to you, but it's just well, my, the reality. Let's just be clear. Michael Caputo is not a senior advisor. He has no formal role with the campaign. He's a volunteer. And so he doesn't get paid by the campaign. He has no formal role with the campaign. So but he's for entitled anybody to anybody own... involved in the campaign and wants yeah, the best involved. for Donald Trump, he's not as you do, to put that out. Look, people are. But I wouldn't have put that opinion. up had I not had that not been um, kind of a narrative that we were hearing. And I'm sure that's why why you wanted to come on to try to push back on a lot of that. Look, I, I think in all campaigns you've got detractors and you've got supporters. Uh, that's the nature of the beast. I had reporting that the campaign had 70 people. Other reporting said it was as low as 30. That's nothing. And I know you're saying it's a different world, Donald Trump is different, but again, I just come back to the fact that this is not a primary campaign. You need to reach hundreds of millions of people, not a small Hillary slice Clinton of the had electorate. 732 people on her payroll. At the same time, Donald Trump had 70 people on the payroll. We had more votes, almost 14 million votes in the primary than any other Republican but candidate. This is not a primary campaign. I understand, campaign. but here's the difference. Her salary that are covered by there have to be 10x what our salaries are as, as, as a comparison. So what they're doing is they're taking money and spending it on things. We are leaner, meaner, more efficient, more effective, get bigger crowds, get better coverage. That, it's very important to understand that Mr. Trump can go directly to the people. That's, I, I have no regrets as it comes to this campaign. I've been given such an opportunity and a privilege. And if somebody was said to me 18 months ago, you'll be managing uh, the candidate through 37 state victories, 14 million votes, more votes than anyone in the history of the Republican Party, I'd say, is that possible? And look what he's been able to achieve, and I've been a small part of that. So uh, I have no regrets at all.